Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Um, I'm here with a vision. In his vision, I um, saw someone being overwhelmed with stress and a giant bucket full of pink liquid spilling over. And then I heard God say, mass destruction. The scripture comes from Song of Songs 8 and 5. Who is this coming up from the desert, leaning upon her lover? Under the apple tree, I awaken you. It was there that your mother conceived you. It was there that your parent conceived. So here's a message for somebody. Okay, someone is feeling like everything is falling apart. You feel like everything is stressing you out. You feel like you don't know what to do. You may be feeling like, I, I just feel like this. you're overwhelmed with how many things that are going on in your mind. And you have given several things to God, but in the back of your mind, you cannot help but to think about these things. As somebody you are struggling with letting go of the stress, God says he has it all under control. God says the lover you are leaning on is him. God says he chose you for what you are going through right now. This very moment, he chose you when you were in your mother's womb. God says he remembers the exact moment that you were created and conceived. God says he knows you in ways that nobody else does. And God says that you will overcome this. You will get through this. You will be okay. Everything will be just fine. God said he got this under control. When God starts allowing things to fall apart and it seems as though everything, God, God is emptying out everything so that can he can fill it back up with things he wants okay so for somebody um you feel as though god is just taking away so many things and you're feeling overwhelmed with stress and you're feeling a little upset and you may feel heartbroken you may feel hurt god says he is removing things that he does not want there and it may seem as though it hurts it may hurt it may hurt it may sting a little bit but those things are not meant to be there. They may have been there for a season. It may be something that, you know, it was okay for a season. It doesn't mean that it has to be a bad thing. But I feel like for somebody, these are things that were tempting you. These were things that were causing us strife. These are things that you cannot see ahead of time that they would cause problems for you. And God says he doesn't want you to have the problems that these things are going to cause. And to avoid that, he is just going to remove it. And sometimes it can feel like a parent taking your favorite toy that you've loved forever and throwing it in the trash. And the way you look at it, you feel like that was something that it was valuable and it, it meant a lot to you and it meant everything to you. But the way the parent looks at it, it was broke. Okay, it was falling apart. It may have a smell to it because you've been dragging it everywhere. Okay, kind of like uh, Lionel and his blanket. And, you know, as a child, I thought it was so cute. As an adult, it's like this little boy is taking this blanket everywhere, dragging it on the floor, dragging it on the ground. They outside, he got the blanket under his arm. It's dragging on the floor everywhere. I could not imagine how filthy that blanket was. God says sometimes things are going to have to be removed. Sometimes he's going to take some things away. But it don't mean that he doesn't have something to replace it. Your cup will be refilled. Your cup will be refilled. God says he will ensure that your cup is refilled. But first he has to empty. You cannot refill a glass that's already full. God said he got this. Who is coming up from the desert? God said you coming up out of the desert. And for somebody, it's you. God removed you. From a place where everything was not like everything was in. I just feel like you were in a constant state. I, and for somebody, you were in a state of shock. And God removed you from that area. And now you are coming out of the desert. And you are seeing yourself coming out of the desert. But you scared because you like, wait. But God is, is pouring out what's in my cup. What am I supposed to drink? What am I supposed to do? God said he going to fill that cup right back up. 
immediately for somebody as soon as he as soon as he finishes clearing out everything in that cup he's going to fill it up with things that are much better i'm being reminded of the meme of the little girl holding on to the tiny teddy bear and jesus asking her to give him the tiny teddy bear so he can give her the big one that's behind his back just because you don't see what god is about to give you does not mean that it's not there it don't mean that you're not gonna get anything it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist but god said God says, God says he has this under control. He don't, he, he don't need you to come to him and say, Lord, but I want it. I want it. I want it. He know, he know you wanted it. He know you loved it. He know you cared about it. He know that you really, it was important to you. He know, he know, but he got something better for you. He has something better for you. It's coming too. It's coming. But God said he cannot fill a full cup. He cannot fill a full cup. It will overflow. And it's not to say that uh, there are not times that God gives us blessings in overflow. But God says you cannot fill the cup has contents that are dirty in there. You don't want to take clean water and pour it in there either. You don't want to refresh a drink and a bug got in there. You don't want to refresh your drink and it's bit dirt and, you know, especially in the desert, in the desert, it's very sandy. Okay. For those of y'all that don't know. Okay. It's very, it's dust. Okay. Dust is it, like everywhere in the desert. And if your cup has been sitting out in the desert, full or not, because what I saw, it was a big, it was a, a big bucket and the bucket was full of this pink liquid. If your bucket is already full. And there has been particles of uh, whatever wickedness or evil stuff or whatever kind of dirt has been just floating around this cup. Even if you yourself have not been partaking in sin, even if you yourself were not doing anything, you weren't trying to go against God. You've been putting forth your best effort to glorify God. You've been putting forth your best effort to stay on the straight and narrow lane. You, This is somebody, God said he pulled you out of the desert. He pulled you out of a dry place. He pulled you away from people that were partaking in sin. He pulled you away from people that don't want to let go of sin. He pulled you away from people that were trying to put bad influences on you. And because you were around some people that had that kind of stuff going on, there are now particles floating around inside of your cup. God said he got to pour all that stuff out, rinse it out, wash it real good, and then he going to fill it back up. And that's the message. God says, do not fret, do not worry, do not stress yourself out. He got this. He got this. And he loves you. For whoever this is for, God says he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And what he has next for you, it is possible. And I'm thinking, like, God is reminding me of what Bardaclis says. With God, all things are possible. God says it's possible, it's possible, it's possible. Trust him. And believe in him. There are some things that God is not going to allow you to take with you. But it's okay. There are some things that you're going to have to let go of. But it's okay. There are some things that are like God says his choices are justified. But guess what? He don't have to explain anything to you because he's God. He don't have to. He don't have to send me here to explain this to you. But at the same time, he loves you so much that he doesn't want you to be sitting around stressed out and worried and concerned and crying and emotional and not understanding why God is taking all your stuff. God says some of that stuff is unclean. Some of that stuff is, is not, it, it, you can't use it. You can't, like, you cannot take it with you where you're going. Some like I just feel for somebody you're trying to hold on to all ways of doing stuff. God said, let that go. No more of that. He don't want you doing that anymore. He doesn't want you partaking in that anymore. He and it could be something so simple as a way of eating food. It could be something so simple as a way of doing your hair, a way of doing your makeup, a way of doing certain things, and you don't want to let go of it. But God said, let it go. Let it go. It's okay. It's okay to let it go. It's okay to try new things. It's okay. It's okay. Because God, for sure, I, I was forced to let go of my wigs. 
And as y'all saw through all those pictures, your girl had a ton. I had hundreds of wigs, all colors, shapes, sizes, cuts. I had all the styles, all the styles, all the styles. But guess what? No more. I, I, I could, it's not as if I couldn't, if I wanted to braid up my locks and put a wig on for a day or put a wig on for a couple days. But after a while, I just, I, I, I myself, I like, I'll wear it to look pretty or to feel pretty or to feel special for a couple of days or so. But in reality, that is something that I let go of. That's something that I, I simply, I, I, I wear my hair now. And it is what it is. It is what it is. My hair, and in reality, it's not as if it looks bad. It's not as if I don't love my hair. It's not as if my hair isn't beautiful and I can't change the colors on it. You know, it's not as if it's something that is just, and I just feel like for somebody, whatever this is, it's something that is not that serious. After a while, you're not even going to want it no more. After a while, you're not even going to want it no more. Just like, I, I don't, I used to, when I used to be uh, just wearing wigs all the time, almost like having an addiction to wearing wigs, I was consistent with going to and buying new wigs and I got to have a new style and I got to have a new style. I, I remember when I was in high school, I had to have a new style every week. Every week, every week, I wanted a new hairstyle. But now I have found uh, myself being comfortable with wearing my hair, uh, the same hairstyle, or, you know, I could switch it up. And, you know, this is one thing that I didn't realize years ago, that locks are so versatile. I can wear, I can, with my hair, do so many different hairstyles and in my hair, just make it look different. And I can switch it up and I can change it up in ways that I didn't imagine. And, you know, for some people, they say that locks are high maintenance. But for me, it's really not. Having my hair relaxed, that was high maintenance to me, baby, because the humidity down in Houston, my hair don't care how strong the relaxer is. It is going to curl up. And due to that, I, I, it just never worked for me. I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And, you know, there were times, at times I, I would try to rock my, my hair relaxed and I would try to get my hair done. I think it was only one time that I actually got my hair done that I was able to maintain it being straight. And in order to do that, I had to show up to school with my hair wrap. And uh, while I was in dance rehearsal, I had to make, keep my hair wrap. Every time I went to dance rehearsal, because we had different times that we practiced, I had to wrap up my hair and make sure my hair is this and make sure that with my locks, I ain't got to worry about none of that. If it's raining, that's fine. It don't matter. I don't have to stress out because, oh, no, it's raining and now my hair. Oh, no, I'm going swimming and now my hair. Oh, no, I'm doing this. And, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm not going to lie and say that I, I don't like chlorine in my hair and period but at the same time it's my hair i could easily just you know wash it after and everything's fine but i just feel like for somebody you're being upset because god is um removing something god is taking something away from you god is taking something that you cherish something that you love god said let it go it's fine it's okay everything is fine what he is taking away from you you do not need it anymore what he is taking away from you will only be a hindrance to you and your next level okay god is he pulled you out the desert and for in order for him to keep you moving you have to let go of certain things. That's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.